Good morning, everybody. Another day at home. First day of the week. So yesterday we got our uh, camper brought down to the land. Introduced the boys to the land for the first time. That was a lot of fun. If you haven't seen that one yet, there should be a link that popped up sometime around now above my head here that'll take you to that video if you missed it. Today, more organizing, more stuff to do. We didn't get much done once we got back yesterday. We pretty much took an evening off. It was a Sunday. Took the day to relax, or took the evening to relax. We got into this new TV series, which, I uh, forget what it's called right now, but once I get into a good series, it's hard to pry me away. I don't get a lot of time to watch TV because I'm always on the road, right? And when I'm on the road, obviously I don't got TV. I guess I got Netflix on my phone, but I don't, I usually watch YouTube. That's usually what I'm watching. So, it was a nice little treat yesterday. Just fed the dogs breakfast, washed their bowls. I'm about to go sit on the front porch for my morning coffee. Brit is at work for a few hours. She'll be back mid after or early afternoon. Other than that, thanks for hanging out today. Who knows what today will bring. I gotta get, uh, I gotta figure out what blade our push mower takes because uh, we're not gonna need our riding mower here. We're gonna use our riding mower at the, the land over there once we get it all cleared out. But the push mower is kind of old and I've never done any maintenance to it and I gotta get a new blade on there. I messed up the blade <laughs> mowing some long grass at the old property. So I gotta figure out what kind of blade it needs and switch the blade so that I can mow the lawn here. It's always something to do, it's always. I, I saw a comment once in my comment section saying, Josh, do you ever just sit all day? And yeah, I do sometimes, but I don't feel good about myself at the end of those days. I have to be productive. I have to get something done or it just feels like a whole day, a whole earth rotation wasted. And I don't get that back. Each day is gone forever. You know, and I'm one day closer to the end of my existence here and I just feel like I just wasted that and that's the most valuable thing you possess is your time so you gotta try to make the most of it Sweet liquid life. Canadian Tire. They got new flags up there, look at that. Only you would notice that. It's important. We don't need masks in the stores here, do we? I don't think last time we were here, no, I don't think so. No, well, it's Manitoba doesn't have a mandatory mask law yet. Well, the city of Winnipeg does. No, just social distancing. So we're looking for shelving for the bathroom. Well, a medicine cabinet. Medicine cabinet for the medicine. Since we have such limited space in the new house, you sort of got to build up with shelves. Exactly. You got to utilize, utilize your space properly. See, that's the that's what I was talking about having kind of shelving on it for extra decor. Oh, that's smart. We it's do not, need a lamp for the living room. Yeah, they're much cheaper at Walmart, but I don't know that they'll be the same quality. Mm. We need masks at Walmart, though. Where we're from, it depends on which store you go to. Each store is responsible for their own policy. Canadian Tire doesn't have any policy yet, so... Well, social distancing. Yeah. And I'm sure they... Stay sentence. away. Two meters. Six feet. So they have no medicine cabinets, but they have this thingamajig. They have the shower caddy that I wanted. The corner shower caddy. And a mirror. I need to pluck my eyebrows. A super zoomy mirror. Mm. Whoa, look at that. Whoa. But then, there's a normal side. Normal. <laughs> Very fancy. We only have the bathroom mirror in the whole house, and I'm only five foot one, keep in mind. So it's really, really hard for me to bend over the whole counter and pluck my eyebrows and actually see them. So 
Hence this. Plus it holds jewelry. Ooh. Ah. We're fancy now. Yeah, we're fancy types. We're the fancy people on the block. <laughs> Need a new blade for our moor. It's a 21 inch blade I'm looking for. You want me to hold that while you look? Yes, thank you. Yeah, Things almost as big as you are. Yes, but much lighter. <laughs> 21 inch this is probably what we would need universal mower blade Thanks, Chevy. Oh, Timmy's oh Whoa. They sang for Tim Hortons. I do the same thing. Good try, Diesel. I know you were trying to howl. It's more of like a weasel howl. I get it. Da -da -da -da. We got a new shower caddy. And only three injuries occurred. Yeah. <laughs> One was pride. Two was my finger. And three was Chevy's peace of mind, because <laughs> something was, fell and scared him. I thought you were going to say pride again. Well, my pride also, yes. This thing was uh, super easy to put together, just letting you know. Just not for people like us. A monkey could have done it, I'm just saying. Monkeys are smarter than us some days. All right, you want them back, right? Oh, definitely. OK. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down there, Mr. Geesebrecht. It's gonna be way too tall. How are we gonna do this? Look at this. It's got a spring in it. It's gonna be like a. You better not. You better be careful taking that thing off because it's gonna. Why would we take it off? Okay. Whew. Yeah, that's a. Uh, that's pretty intense. There you go. Is that where you want it? Yeah, I think so. Maybe more in Can the. Can reach this? That can be your shelf. Maybe more in the corner though, like as tight as possible, just without cracking the tiles. Okay. Yeah, exactly, like 90 degrees. Is that good? She's not perfect, but that'll do, Donkey. It's that'll do. It's out because the spring is tight. There we go. Oh, I don't like that. Well, maybe over time it'll be less bowy. This nice tile bathtub, and there's no shelving. So weird. But now there's shelving. Now there's shelving. We fixed it. Now we just gotta straighten it out. That one is crooked. Your eyes are crooked. It's perfectly straight. Your face is crooked. Well, I know that. <laughs> Don't you notice how it's like an inch from here and like perfectly lined up there? Fix that, please. Did we break it when we dropped it? No, we didn't drop that hard. There was an incident. Do you want this to be up so high though? It doesn't Probably matter. My stuff can be... Too. Okay, yeah, that works. My stuff can be down lower and yours can be up higher. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I'm five foot one. That's because this bar is bowed. That's why it's so straight. That's rude. It is what it is. Okay, well. Shelves. Better than what it was. Pretty well sure. done, Trucker Josh. Well done. So, we got invited to my cousin Chris and Tanya's place. We brought Chevy. They have a hobby farm. <laughs> There's goats. <laughs> and Chevy, we just brought one because two might be a little bit crazy, but you ready to go meet all the goats and all the animals? I have a few dogs too. Chevy, come here. Come here. What's this?
Oh my! Oh my! Look at all the little piglets over there. Got <laughs> <laughs> chickens and everything. Shady, what is this place? It's okay, you scared? What is it? What are those things? <laughs> those are really ugly dogs. Ooh. Oh, good. Shady. <laughs> At you're, time. you're a different looking goat. Oh. Chevy's getting brave. Chevy, what's this? Chicken, 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 chicken. <laughs> they just keep. Look at that guy over there. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Getting a goat. <laughs> not coming any closer. <laughs> not coming anywhere near the fence. Yeah, they will. So that's Budweiser. That's Budweiser. That's Galaxy. Galaxy. Okay, and Galaxy's not a fan of dogs, Chevy. No. You gotta stay, boy. Stay over here. Aren't those the biggest dogs you ever seen, though? Look at that. Yeah, Diesel would be losing his mind. <laughs> hey, give me a great thumbnail. Everybody smile. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> Come on, Chevy. Come on. Holding the door for you here. Oh, oh what an adventure that was. Checker. She was for poop. Oh, I'm, I'm pretty clear. I'll be good. Yeah. Chevy, did you have a good time? Farmer now, aren't you? You're a farmer. Chevy, come here. Let me take this off. Oh, hey guys. Hey guys, I know you were all coming. Where were you? What are these smells? Why do you smell like goats? Why do you smell like goats? Is there a is that a horse I smell? Did you see a horse? Wiener. Hello. You guys stink. Yeah, especially you. Look at that. <laughs> what is this? So that was a lot of fun. Uh, that yeah. was Chevy's first time seeing any of those farm animals. Uh, they were, they had cats. They had dogs. Yeah. 
They had cats, dogs, uh, goats, horses, chickens. Peacocks, quail. Did we say pigs? Pigs, rabbits. Yeah. You would have loved a diesel. Next time we'll take you, okay? Next time you take you. Look at these guys. We just needed our better behaved, calmer dog. <laughs> I missed you too, buddy. I miss you too. And you're all very hungry, so we're gonna get your food ready for you. What is Stop it about me? Moving. She's the one that was carrying the goat. Pedro. She carried I didn't even go in the goat pen. Why are you why are you obsessed with my feet? Oh my goodness, it was Mama <laughs> too. There you go. It's amazing how they, they can smell that, eh? It is. Your noses are incredible. What are you, look at him. It's like, oh, there's more up here. There's more up here. Oh, oh, it checks the back. What oh, is calves? Oh, what is this? Diesel. Is that a kitty cat? <laughs> Wiener. Wiener, come here. Well, that was my cousin Chris and his fiance Tanya. And uh, their little hobby farm, I guess we'd call it. Uh, they, they're awesome people. And what a cool experience getting to see that. So. They don't live too far away from us. They live like five minutes away. So I think we're gonna go and uh, hang out there again sometime soon, I hope. But being a truck driver, you know, it's, it's hard to get, hard to get home and be social like this. So it is what it is, but sure worth it going out there today. I had a really good time. All right, boys, come on. Come on, let's get your food. Well, I think three of the four need to go to the washroom first, probably. You want to take them out first? I thought we'd feed them and then take them out. I know. I can't eat when I have a full bladder. Okay. Well, okay. We'll be right back then. I am somewhat of a chef. Not to brag or anything. Not to toot my own horn or anything. Toot toot. But, uh, must be pretty good. Look at these guys. They're lining up for my delicacies. <laughs> Gonna wait for it to soak. Every one of their food, except for this guy, gets soaked. Uh, because he's got an old, old teeth. Because he eats too fast. <laughs> and because he's old. And him, he'll eat anything. But you gotta be careful with him, because he's got allergies too. Water. But he's not allergic to water, so there you go. And then he's got his, uh, Wiener's got his heart pill, because he's got an enlarged heart. He gets what, two of those every day. And there's salmon oil as well that we add in here. From, uh, things like this. He gets one squirt in the morning, two squirts in the afternoon for the big guys. And then the little guys get half a squirt each. I always do two and two for Chevy because of his skin getting so dry at this time of year because it gets so itchy. So I give him extra and it just seems to keep his skin you know, you rash free. Spoiled dogs, you spoiled. And in the morning, they also get their supplements. The old guys get their glucosamine supplement and Chevy gets his stomach supplement because he's got a Probiotics. sensitive belly. Probiotics. Yeah. We spoil our dogs. We need children. No regrets. I love them. Regret nothing. When I say this guy eats fast, that's why we have to soak it so that it doesn't get stuck in his throat. Uh, he's choked a few times. There you go. Wait. 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 Okay. It's not a race, buddy. I don't know, we've tried everything. So we just soften his food so that it goes down smoothly and that's all we can do really. So that's it, it was fun. Tomorrow we go into Winnipeg. We got a few errands to run. Should be fun. We're gonna make it fun because that's what we do. Every day is fun. We'll see you tomorrow.